Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can do a better job of ensuring our anonymity using the CSI Linux Gateway. So currently, I am up on the logon screen for the CSI Analyst, that's the desktop, and the password is CSI, all lowercase. So one of the nice things about the CSI Analyst desktop is that it automatically launches Tor and you're actually browsing using the Tor and the Onion Network at the same time. And we can prove this just by going over here and checking the status of our networking adapters. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Let's give this a couple seconds to learn about our network and there you see it. So currently I am using this Tor IP that is over in the Netherlands, but if you look at my direct IP, it is exposed. And so it is showing that my direct IP is actually over the United States. Now I'm going to go ahead at this time and kill my private VPN that I have running on my Windows 10 host machine. So to do this, I'm just going to go over here, right click and tell it to disconnect. And then we're going to close this out. We're going to wait a couple seconds and we're going to relaunch it. And you're going to see that it shows me as actually being in the Philippines, which is where I'm actually located. So let's go ahead and relaunch. Now it's going to take a couple of minutes because it does have to relearn. All right. And now you see that it shows my direct IP as being in the Philippines. So that's not a good thing. So whether you're a pen tester, a hacker, or an investigator, you don't want anyone to have the ability to backtrace you. So we need to hide as best we can while we're on the internet and ensure that we have anonymity so that we can't be seen in our actual location. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and we're going to bring up our browser and I'm going to use Firefox here and we're going to go out to dnsleaktest.com and we're going to see exactly what my IP is that is showing for everyone to see. And there you can see that it identifies me, even though I'm on the Tor network. It does see that my actual IP address is exposed. And it shows the location of where I am located. So we go ahead and do a standard test real quick. Seconds. Now the reason you're seeing my ISP as being Google is because I am using Google DNS. That's how my machine is configured, which is still not a good thing. Now this is the standard test. If I do the extended test, there's a lot more servers that I'm going through, uh, courtesy of the Onion Network. So here you see all the different servers that I'm being routed around the world through. And now we're going to go ahead and see how we can use this CSI Linux gateway to hide my personal IP address and not show where I'm actually located. So let's go ahead and close out my browser. And what we're going to do is go down here to my lower taskbar and the second icon over is the CSI gateway. So go ahead and launch that and it's going to ask you do you want to have the CSI gateway on or off. So this is how you can enable and disable the gateway. I'm going to go ahead and accept the default to turn it on. Now the first thing it's going to want is the CSI password, which is CSI, all lowercase. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then it comes back and it starts telling me that my clear web IP address was 130.105.135.50 and my new IP address now going through the gateway is 62.102.148. Alright, so now I can go back over here and I can check to see if that's actually the case because I'm going to get still another IP address and that's going to be for my Tor. So let's see how this works. Now, since the gateway is enabled, it's going to take a few minutes for it to relearn the configuration of my networking adapters. So it does take a little while for the relearning of the configuration of your networking adapters 
once you enable the gateway so do be patient now what I did was I closed out the window two or three times and then it finally did complete the refresh so you can see that my direct IP has been changed to not show me as being in the Philippines but I'm actually now being shown over in the Netherlands and we're going to see a different IP address once I bring up the DNS leak test site one more time so let's go ahead and close out this window and I'm going to go ahead and close and now I'm going to bring up my browser and again we're going to go out to the DNS leak test site so once you do enable the gateway everything is going to slow down somewhat now depending on the current configuration that you have that is to say your internet connection will depend on how responsive your browsing is going to be using the gateway and the Tor network and so now <laughs> eventually the DNS leak test site does come up it's going to be a little slow because we're going through a gateway and we're going through the Tor and Onion network so it's giving me a new IP address of 109.201.33.100 now it does not know where I'm at currently but we can run the standard test and get a better idea of exactly where I'm being shown from so I'm going to run the standard test give it a second so you can see that I am being routed quite extensively and I have different IP addresses and it's changing quite frequently so currently I'm being shown as using an IP address of 130 though I have an IP address of 109 and if we do the configuration again you'll see that I have still another IP address for the Tor network so I have all the anonymity that I'm probably ever going to get by using the CSI Linux gateway now if you're interested in learning more about how this gateway interacts with the Tor and the Onion network to provide this additional layer of anonymity then you can go on out and visit the hunix.org site and you'll see a very similar product it's called the hunix gateway and they also do have a hunix workstation that you can download and they're both vm but the explanation that they are providing on how this all works to provide the anonymity does apply to what we're doing here with the csi linux gateway and so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about providing an additional layer of anonymity using the CSI Linux Gateway. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the information that was presented to you in this short video, please do not hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.